Well, I was in a play about Edward Mybridge. I was an actor, um, and that was one of the reasons why I was interested in this story. The play was by this company, Electric Company Theater, and I was one of the camera assistants in it. Um, and I was fascinated by this very strange character, and I realized that no one had told a story about him. So that's what drew me to him. I will create the world's first encyclopedia of motion. Excuse me, who are you? You see things other people don't. I think this is someone who's misunderstood. I think this is someone who um, people don't know about, that um, he really did something amazing, and um, I think that people should know about him. I like acting, and then I also like making films, and to be able to switch and change, I, I think is more interesting than just going, I'm gonna just do this one thing. I think we like to do different things. We always like to do different things. I also enjoy writing a lot as well. I, I just like to have fun on my projects. That's really important for me. When I'm making a movie, bringing all these people out, what's the point if we're not having a good time? I give you Mr. Edward Mybridge. I would like to see the in-between, to see what's invisible. I can't stop. I always seem to want more. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Smile. If I was Edward Mybridge, what would I change in his life? Oh man, I have no idea what I would change. Um, I mean, I guess I'd try to get along with my wife a little bit more and focus on her and less on my work. And uh, I probably wouldn't shoot Harry Larkins. <laughs> that's, that's one of them. Um, I did feel like Edward Mybridge, which I mentioned uh, last night being on set because, you know, I was inside the camera shed directing it and having animals and nude people. And I imagine that's what Edward had when he was doing those motion studies was a pretty intense uh, atmosphere. Gentlemen and ladies, to be extraordinary. Uh, I'd like to think that I have my own style visually. Uh, I'm very detailed. Um, for the film, I made a lookbook, and I created the look of the film of what I wanted it to be. And uh, I think with my two shorts in this film, you can start to see that there's a very visually rich kind of worlds that I like to live in. Don't make meetings, make movies. Um, a lot of people like to talk about projects, but I think actually doing it is, is good. But really work on making it the best that you can do. So if you are gonna go and do it, really go for it and make it the best that you can make it and make the script as good as possible because the script doesn't ever change. You can't ever um, change that beginning piece um, of your project.